going to be unboxing my power, no, my Macintosh Performa 600. I've been waiting for quite a while for this, and it was supposed to arrive on Tuesday, but it's Friday, and school was cut short because of the weather, so I have nothing to do, and I'm so excited to be able to unbox this because I've been waiting for quite a while. So, um, te so basically, so this is, so the um, seller um, shipped it in two boxes because of the monitor and the computer it would actually usually be separate when you buy the actual computer. So um, I reckon that the essentials and the actual computers in this box, the Travel Pro box, and the monitors in this printer box. And I hope I didn't get sent a printer on accident, but probably not because this thing looks pretty old. Even the box looks pretty cool. Well, it's a five in one. It's a fax machine, a laser printer, a copier, a scanner, and a PC fax. All right, I have no idea what PC fax means, but oh, I know it. Wait, but there's fax and PC fax. Eh, who knows? I don't care. Works with Windows and iMac. Okay, so this is a quite modern um, printer, I guess, because it runs with iMac, and iMac didn't come out until 1998. So this is. Well, Younger than 1998, that's what we know. But this computer, I believe, is from 1993. So, yeah, we're going to be doing the unboxing on the ping pong table instead of the office, which is actually back there, because I couldn't, I didn't really want to get it up two step, the three steps, and the, the, um, de the actual desk is quite small, and also it's a bit high, so I just decided to do it here. We're going to be doing this on the floor anyway. So let's get started. We're gonna first up, we're gonna open the Travel Pro box, which I believe is the computer, as I said. So yeah, let's up, I'm opening up the Travel bo Travel Pro box first. Now the box is a bit small, so I guess we're just gonna do it on the ping pong table. So yeah, let's get to it. So I'm using scissors. These scissors are pretty cool. They go in my kitchen and my mom claims that they can cut, cut bones, which is pretty cool. So, I'm not sure how to open this. Um, okay, here, we have some tape here. Let's just open that. Okay, we got some more tape here. This might be an opening. Nope, it's not. It's just tape to hold it together, I guess. But this box is a little um, broken. I'm definitely not keeping this box because there's no use. Okay, so we have whatever this is. This is some sort of container or something. Okay, I'm already starting to see the computer wrapped in bubble wrap. And, of course, we have packing peanuts. I hate these. It's just so annoying. They take forever to clean up. So, apparently, what's this box supposed to be? So it was ordered on Amazon.com. It's some sort of um, travel thing. Some, something related to travel or, or flight or something. I'm not too sure. That's what it says on the box. A choice of flight crews and frequent travelers. Okay, I feel the end of the computer. I'm pulling it out slowly. And here it is. It's a maybe a tiny bit bigger than I expected, I don't know, but usually on pic in pictures, things look, look bigger than they actually are. That's what I learned with the Furby. If you've never heard of Furbies, they're like these little robotic toys that you can like feed with an app. And basically, um, in the pic, and, I've all, and I wanted one for like a year, and then I finally got one. And in the pictures, it looked massive, but then when I actually got it, it, was, it felt so small. But it was a fun toy to play with for a while, and then, yeah. Okay, so it looks like this is upside down. So, I can already see this thing needs to be retrobrighted because it's got some yellow plastic. Oh, this is so annoying to open up. Okay. So I already see a bit of dirt on this thing. And here it is. Wow, this thing is awesome. Wow. Okay. Let me quickly get this stuff out of the way. So this is the main attraction of what 
of everything. This is the actual computer. So this is it. So I'm just going to get everything out of the way. Oh, I hate this. Okay, so there's still some stuff in here. We have a plastic bag. So this has got the mouse and all the cables. What else we got in here? We Okay, so the keyboard came in the same box as the monitor, I guess. I seriously hope it's not full of packing peanuts, because I hate these things. They're like the worst. I tried eating one once, and it was not that pleasant. It was in the iMac G3, G4 unboxing. I still haven't gotten it working yet with a hard drive. I'm still doing that. I feel like I'm buying too much computers, but less stuff to make them work. And I seriously hope this thing wasn't damaged in shipping. Because in the 8-Bit Guy's re most recent video, he got an IBM PC Junior, which is a pretty cool, cool computer. But, um, unfortunately, the monitor, the board, the circuit board, the, um, the board on the, um, monitor snapped in half. So that it took them a while to fix it. He needed to have someone come. But, yeah, I seriously hope this thing survived from shipping. Usually the things I buy do survive. I've never had an inst incident yet, but um, you know what, I'm just going to clean the rest of this up off camera and then we're going to get to the monitor. So I'll be back. Ah. Alright, time to open the 5-in-1 Brother printer box, which is obviously the monitor and the keyboard. So yeah, usually if, if I was an eBay sh um, seller, I would put the monitor in one in a separate box from everything else because these things are quite heavy and yeah and I don't I wouldn't want them to crush any of the essentials and I swear to god if the monitor broke something in there probably the keyboard I'm gonna get really angry but I have a separate a spare keyboard over um over there but one of the reasons why I bought this is because it came with a keyboard and that'd mean I'd have an extra keyboard but yeah, so, um, back. so the 8-bit guy claims that it takes him half an hour to open a box and take everything out. For me, it takes like maybe 10 minutes or so. So I think he's just exaggerating, but who knows? He's an okay guy. I recommended his channel. Okay, so I see some styrofoam. Okay, so not that many packing peanuts. Okay, so first thing we have up here, I know what this is. This is called a CD caddy. It's a very rare feature that you don't see on computers that much. So basically what this is, this is like a floppy, di a floppy disk, but you can put a CD in here, and then you put it in the computer, and it's like a floppy disk. It's pretty cool, and it also gives the CD protection. So yeah, this is a pretty cool feature. Look, it has a special slot over here where you can just put it in. That's pretty cool. And he says it works, which I'm quite glad about. And it also comes with a bunch of loaded software. So yeah, I'm excited. All right, so this is, I guess he tried to mimic um, uh, packing peanuts. Oh, wait, yeah, there are a few packing peanuts in here. I guess he ran out and he didn't really want to go to the store and get some. So yeah, okay, so I can see the keyboard. Ah, Alright, that was pretty... It came out with not too much difficulty. Stay in there, Tati. This keyboard's a bit bigger than the usual keyboards that, I'd, that I'm used to. It's got a bunch of extra buttons that, that are usually, that usually you find on a PC. They're the F keys. Like the F five, like the F five keys and stuff. That's just an example. Um, on the standard Mac and to on the on the fat Mac keyboards, they usually only come with the just the key with just the lower part of the keyboard. No um control um control keys. No, I think they're called function keys. Yeah, that's what they're called because it's function three, for example. Newer Macs use function keys for like volume and stuff but so yeah it's just okay this is interesting this is a bit bigger than I thought but wow this is a quite nice keyboard types pretty well 
got that nice caps lock key up in there. These keys are really nice though. Bit dirty, I'm gonna have to clean them. And it and it's got some yellowing, so that's also needs to be retrobrated. I might have a big a, a big enough container for that, so it's easier. All right, onto the main attraction of this box, which is the monitor. This is a um, an Apple 15 inch. No, this is like a 12 inch RGB monitor. This is an Apple monitor, so it matches the computer and everything. Okay, air conditioners have come on. Please turn off and die. What's annoying about this house is you can't exactly turn off the air conditioners. It goes on at random moments. The only thing you can control with them is the temperature. It's usually like 75 degrees. I might actually put this up in my room if it's, if it's a nice computer. Okay, so starting to get a clearer look of the, the monitor. It's a bit bigger than I thought. There, then again, then again, the pictures, pictures make everything look big, especially if you have a small screen. No, especially if you have a big screen. But I mostly looked at this computer on my phone, so it looks a bit small, but on the computer, it looks quite big. So, no, I'm not making any sense. Let's just get this thing out of here. Probably, I might keep this, this printer box because it looks a little vintage. And also, it could be good for storing stuff, like like a random assort, assortments of cables. But for now, I'm just going to try and get this monitor out of here. This is being extremely stubborn. I really don't want to get all that styrofoam out. Oh, I guess I'll have to. This box wasn't as messy as the last one. Okay, maybe I just... I might, I think I might have spoke too soon. Okay, time to, okay, see the brightness controls on the side, pretty cool, as you can see here. Still recording. Good, I'm, I've been having some trouble with space lately. Now this monitor doesn't come with the stand, it's, um, it's just a monitor, plain old monitor. But yeah, here's a better look at it, so now you know what it looks like. All the soft. Okay. See, as you can see here, you have like a monitor stand for if you. But for now, this is like for the hook. This is the hook. This is where you can hook on the monitor. For, monitor stand to the monitor. Okay, I see a bit of permanent marker up here, so I'm gonna have to clean that up. It's not what. Well, you don't. You don't really notice it at first. I thought I didn't notice this in, in the photo, but. It's okay, I'll, that should come off with no difficulty. <sighs> a bit heavier than I expected. So here it is, the Macintosh Performa 600 in all of its glory. i probably get, have to do some cleaning on this. Okay, now I'm gonna clean up the table and then I'll show you, show you what it looks like all set up. So I'll be back in a sec. All right guys, so here is the computer all set up. Now I'm not gonna plug it in just yet. I'm gonna turn it on for the first time in my review and demo or or some other something else, but um, yeah, so this is everything that came in the box. So this really nice Apple desktop bus keyboard. Really nice. I haven't tried it out yet. A really interesting Apple desktop bus mouse. I've, ne I've seen these round ones before on eBay, but I've never actually had one in person. Felt used one in person. It's a bit different the way it works, but it's really comfortable. But personally, in like for like a vintage computer, I prefer the older... Um, mouse the um, square mouse then over here we have a bunch of cables we have power cables and the connection 
cables for the monitor and the computer. And of course we have this. I'm probably gonna get a few more of these on eBay if I can find some, but for now I'm just gonna have one. So yeah, that'll wrap it up for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe. Comment down below what you want me to do next, and I will see you in the next video. So goodbye.